so this is again related to Grignard reagent uh, 9.37 <coughs> so this problem so how would you synthesize the following compound using the Grignard reagent and any other necessary reagents that you require so the first is a 3 octanol so I have to prepare 3 octanol so 3 octanol this I have to prepare from hexanol so this I have to prepare from hexanol that is CH3 CH2 full 4 and then CHO so you see how will you prepare this compound from this compound so you just write the structure of 3 octanol so you will have 8 carbon 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so you have 8 carbon at position number 3 you have a OH group so this is octanol all so this is not T this is L so you have 1 2 3 so at position number 3 you have OH group using this compound you have to prepare this so what how many carbon you have in here 4 5 6 so you need 2 more carbon so this means you have to take a Grignard reagent containing 2 carbon and then try to do this reaction so let us say if we have CH3 CH2 whole 4 CHO and now if you take Grignard reagent MZBR CH2 CH3 so this is basically minus plus so if you take this Grignard reagent what will happen this will attack this goes up so you will get the desired product and if you do hydrolysis hydrolysis is also required if you do hydrolysis you will have CH3 CH2 whole 4 CH2 whole 4 and this carbon will contain OH now so let us put OH and then here hydrogen and then this carbon is connected to this carbon then CH2 CH3 I'm getting so this is the desired product so this is 3 octanol 1 2 3 at position number 3 you have OH group 1 2 3 and 4 7 plus 1 8 so this is 3 octanol so we have to prepare 3 octanol so we have prepared 3 octanol using Grignard reagent now let us discuss the B part so in this part you have to prepare 1 octanol so you have to prepare 1 octanol so this means uh, you have 8 carbon 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 you have to prepare 1 octanol and this you have to prepare from you have to prepare this 1 octanol from 1 bromoheptane so this is heptane 7 carbon you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and person number 1 you have bromo group so you see you have to increase 1 carbon so what can you do is you can make Grignard reagent of this compound and treat with formaldehyde because formaldehyde will increase one carbon so what you can do is you treat this with mz you will have mzbr so seven carbon with mzbr so one two three i think we are able to see four five six seven and you will have mzbr are you getting so this is mzbr so there will be minus there will be plus now if you treat this compound with formaldehyde HCHO because I need to increase only one carbon so this attacks here and if this goes up and if you do hydrolysis further so you will get the desired product you are getting or not so you will have CH2OH finally CH H OH and this side you will have I think we are able to see this one. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 carbon. Are you getting? So this is the desired product. Now the C part you see. So if you want to increase 1 carbon, you can take formaldehyde. That is a good option. You have 7 carbon alkyl halide. And if you want to increase 1 carbon, you have to take uh, formaldehyde. Similarly, if you want to increase 2 carbon, you can take uh, epoxide ring that is ethylene di ethylene oxide CH2O CH2 so third one is you have to prepare one cyclohexaethanol 
cyclohexyl ethanol from acetaldehyde so this is uh, let me draw so one cyclohexyl ethanol so you have a portion number one a cyclohexyl group is attached and ethanol so ch3 c c s ethanol is this so let us say this is ethanol so this is your ch3 ch2 oh ethanol but at position number 1 hexyl group is also attached so this is one cyclo hexyl ethanol so this compound name will be one cyclo hexyl hexyl ethanol so the name of this compound is one cyclo hexyl ethanol you have to prepare this compound from acetal dehyde that is ch3cho now this is you see uh you see this part is common two carbon now this means i have to take <coughs> grignard reagent of cyclohexane so if i treat so how can i prepare so if i treat this compound with grignard reagent of this so this if i treat with this mgbr if i take grignard reagent of this cyclohexane ring mg br are you getting so if you treat these two compounds you will get the desired product what will be the reaction because there is a minus this can attack here this can go up and if you do hydrolysis you will get the desired product are you getting or not uh, let us copy this one then we'll go for the next problem these are the easy problem basically Now, if you have copied this one, then I can go for the next problem. Okay, let us go next. So, D part of this question again are uh, related to. I think all of you have copied this one. So, let us say D part. So, what this says, uh, you have to prepare two cyclohexyl ethanol. So, two cyclohexyl ethanol. So, this means. Position number two, you have a cyclohexane group. So this is ethanol, CH, H, CH2OH. So this is ethanol. But position number two, you have a cyclohexyl group. So this is two cyclohexyl ethanol. You have to prepare this compound using acetaldehyde, CH3CHO. No, no, not cyclohexane. It's acetaldehyde. You have to prepare this with. a uh, bromocyclohexane bromocyclohexane so this is given to you bromocyclohexane okay in the last question uh you have to prepare this uh, from this then the grignard reagent is this one that is ps uh, cyclohexyl minus in this case you have been given you have to prepare this compound with this now see Uh, how many carbon has increased? So two carbon has increased. Now I can prepare Grignard reagent from this. So let us say if I treat this alkyl halide Br with Mg, I will have a Grignard reagent MgBr. Now can anybody tell me what can I do next? I need to increase two carbon. Can anybody suggest me any reagent? Should I do this one? any idea okay so let us give you a hint so if you treat this with ethylene oxide that is this compound so we will get the desired product and if you do hydrolysis as 3o plus you will get the desired product because you have a lone pair here this will attack here and this will open up i can show you the mechanism here so finally we will get the desired product so let us show the mechanism here if you see there is a lone pair so minus charge is there now if i react with ethylene oxide 
so this minus will attack here this opens up so you will have <coughs> something like this so this and this carbon is attached and now I will have one carbon more and in this position I will have O minus and if I do hydrolysis H plus if I add I will get the desired product so then two carbon and then oxygen so let us put here there is no problem you can always put either here or here so CH2OH are getting so this is the desired product so if you want to increase two carbon we can always use ethylene oxide CH2O CH2 let us discuss E1 uh, so what this E part says I think all of you have copied this one so E says benzyl alcohol from bromobenzene I need to form this one PH2CH2OH this is benzyl alcohol CH2OH and this I have to prepare from bromobenzene PHBR a benzyl alcohol so I have to have benzene ring and this I have to prepare from PHBR once again I have to increase one carbon and that can be easily done using <coughs> formaldehyde so first make Grignard reagent of this compound and treat with formaldehyde everybody knows now so you can have this ah uh, sorry this one now if you treat this with MZ we will have this MZBR now if you treat this compound with formaldehyde at CHO now no need to show the arrow now you know this minus will attack here this opens up so you have here electrons so this will attack here this opens up and if you do hydrolysis that is if you react this compound with H3O plus you will get the desired product so you will have CH2 OH so you can increase one carbon one carbon you can always increase using the formaldehyde as a reason two carbon ethylene oxide are you getting ok let us say the F1 you have now this you have to prepare CH3OH uh, here you have CH3 here also have CH3 this you have to prepare from this compound CO on this side you have OET how can you prepare now this one is slightly tricky one can anybody tell me so you see what is happened on this carbon 2 CH3 is attached so this means I have to attack I have to remove this one that is fast nucleophilic acyl substitution and then attack again CH3 so you have to have 2 mole of CH3 MZBR you have to take 2 mole of CH3 MZBR you will get the desired product let me see how many of you are able to do this one take one minute time and those who have not done copy it from the top let us copy ok so let us see um, for this question what can you do is I think all of you have done this one so you can take this COOET if you treat this compound with CH3MZBR first there is a Grignard reagent CH3MZBR CH3 minus will attack here this goes next step returns back so I am writing the final product so let us say after re releasing this one so I will have CO CH3 are you getting or not now further if I treat with CH3 MZBR what will happen this CH3 will attack here 
and if you do hydrolysis you will get the desired product so you will have here cyclohexyl group coh ch3 here you will have and here also you will have ch3 are getting a lot so copy this one then we'll discuss the next problem okay this one f i think all of you have copied so f says you have to prepare this compound this here you have and now coh ch3 ch3 oh this one we have already done this was f the last one was f okay so z basically i have to do z so this is z so let us remove this one and g is not this one so let us cut this one let us write next so z is something different so i will have cyclopentyl phenyl methanol that is this compound i have to prepare cyclopentyl phenyl methanol so cyclopentyl phenyl and methanol so let us say how we can name this compound this compound is called cyc so let us see cyclo pentyl cyclopentyl methanol how can we name this one very easy this is your methane and this is your methanol ch3oh this is your methanol if you remove one hydrogen and put cyclopentyl group oh cyclopentyl as well as phenyl also cyclopentyl phenyl methanol so there is a phenyl so cyclopentyl phenyl methanol so one carbon hydrogen if you remove one hydrogen put phenyl group this side another side pentyl cyclopentyl group this you have to prepare from phch easy one so this means what i have to take this compound as a grignard reagent so simple so i have to take ph coh plus this is mgbr if i take are getting now this mgbr i'll take here this goes up and if i do hydrolysis i will get the desired alcohol are getting or so we will have ph coh we will have hydrogen here and then this side we will have a cyclopentyl group so this is the final product we will get so in these reactions basically reactions of grignard reagent with aldehyde or ketone can be used to prepare the other primary alcohol secondary alcohol or tertiary alcohol if you want to increase two carbon you can take ethylene oxide if you want to increase one carbon you can always take formaldehyde if you want to if you want to add some more carbon then correspondingly you have to consider the chain what chain you should to take that is the important part so i think all of you have copied this one this is pretty easy problems and we then we'll discuss the next problem let us copy this one fast we copied this one or not the top one okay let us go for the next problem 